Hello, my name is Rodrigo Linares. I am 17 years old from West Columbia, Texas, and I'm one of the top recruits to play wheelchair basketball at the next level in college. Something I always take to heart is any obstacle that's in my way, I can overcome. When I was born, I was born with a rare disability called sacrogenesis, one that only one kid from a million are born like. It didn't take much time for me when I was a kid to adapt to a different lifestyle than other people. But at the beginning, it was hard, especially for my mom. She made me learn to do things on my own as much as she wanted to help, but that made her realize that if I do things on my own, I would be independent at a young age. And so many other obstacles came at me like a defensive tackle, but that never made me stop. So I kept going, pushing forward and never give up. And because of that, I played for one of the best wheelchair basketball teams there is in the, in the country. This year, I'm humbled and honored to be uh, captain of my team also. So many people have been having some ups and downs lately because of the coronavirus, because of the violence that's going on in, in our cities. But that never made me drop the towel and give up. I came going and pushing forward, and with that came gifts. I was able to get a new basketball chair for my senior year and for my college years. Also, I have been offered a scholarship to play D1 basketball for the best wheelchair basketball team there is at a collegiate level, which is up in Dallas. Some of my future goals is after high school, being able to learn more basketball at a different level, more experienced, and also have a better mindset, have a better positive one. And I would like to graduate with the master's in a career, don't know yet, but hopefully would be soon. Uh, and also would like to go play professional wheelchair basketball overseas and become one of the best players there is in the league. And also one of the biggest goals I have is being able to play for Team USA and win gold. In conclusion, my life has been a blessing, not a burden. Because of uh, even though I've been st I'm stuck in the chair for the rest of my life, uh, I have been given opportunities that a lot of people don't receive, especially in Brazoria County and in a small town. There's a verse that is very special to my heart. I'm not trying to get religious or anything, but Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And think about that verse. It's used all over the world, but I'm an example of that verse. So many obstacles, one after another, coming at me, and yet they haven't made me quit. It made me overcome adversity. Even when I was a kid, the doctor said I had 30 days to live when I was born. But yet here I am today. I am so blessed where I am at today. Thank you so much for your time and have a good night.